Hello everyone, it's me Facility Gamer. I have to do this video because there are a lot of YouTubers of Fluid Facility that are quitting YouTube. There are changing content, there are taking huge breaks and uh, YouTubers that also will do the same in the end of the year. And I will tell you guys what is going on behind the scenes, what is the reason for us to quit and what is actually going on. And also my point of view and if I will be quitting too or not. A couple weeks back, Mr. Dai made a video on his second channel talking about Flee the Facility and how he felt about the game not being updated, uh, the fact that nothing changes at all and the game has been always the same, you know, the same old story. But on that video, he also talked about the fact that he wants to switch content. He doesn't want to make Flee the Facility anymore because it's always the same, there's nothing new to do. And he wants to move on for another game, which is to totally understandable. He might do that in 2022 eventually. Um, at least that's what he's planning to do. And he also, on the on that video, he also talked about the fact that some other YouTubers will follow, will follow them too and that a lot of free YouTubers will start making videos in a lot of games too. So that's where we need to talk. So on his video, we heard him saying that some YouTubers are trying to find a fleet of facility game that looks like the same or feels the same and they will just switch over that. Now, if you watch my channel, I will say for two years, you will notice that, you will know that the person who said that was me, all right? Uh, the reason I said that was because, guys, I've been playing the same game for five years, for 18 hours a day, always trying to improve, always trying to be the best, always trying to do something new, and also making content at the same time. I've been doing videos at the same time. So I need to be extremely creative, I need to come up with extremely good ideas, and recently, I just, I just don't feel like any of my ideas are creative anymore. They are just pretty much the same thing over and over again now. And even though I still have good ideas, all right, guys, I still have interesting ideas. I just found out a bug on the game recently, and I've been talking with a lot of people. I still have good video ideas coming soon. But the thing is, my ideas don't last forever. My creativity don't last forever because the game never changes. There is nothing new on the game. And then, and like, if you play the same game for five years and you're making content for two years straight, you will understand what I mean. I can't. I don't like to just play the game and make a video about it. I like to do something that makes that specific video special, like the Rainbow Hammer. You know, the Rainbow Hammer is like something actually really unique on the Fleet community. Nobody ever thought about it. And people actually love it, people actually like it. Like for example, making your custom hammer, nobody ever thought about it. I had to think that on myself. I, I spent like uh, five whole days trying to figure it out. How could I do something creative? Or for example, the montages. The montages are kind of like um, a common common idea on other games, but on Fleet of Soul, nobody ever like thought really on doing that and I brought that into the community and a lot of people start doing the same thing as me and I think the montages are pretty much the most su su successfully videos successful oh my god su successful videos I have on my channel but you see I'm tired you know it's been a while you know I, if if it really has be perks I'm not quitting anytime soon but for now I'm really waiting for a new fleet facility game to come out I will say playing fleet facility I was, I was still playing Fleet Facility in 2022, but if a new game comes out that looks like Fleet Facility and has a bunch of developers that want to work on the game and update the game every day and that the game that is not like Captive, of course, if we have a new Fleet Facility game that looks like Captive, I'm not switching over that. Captive sucks and is a pay-to-win game. But if we have a game that is just like Fleet Facility, is not pay-to-win and it's well-made we are, and as kind developers, I will switch over that and start, you know, my career there and try to be the best player there because if you see like you see the the main developer for fleet of Facility, mr winnie kind of just gave up right now fleet of Facility development has stopped you know mr winnie is not updating the game right now he's working on his new game and it kind of sucks to see that like winnie doesn't finish his project he made fleet of facility then he made project laser he didn't finish project laser and now he's working on another game you see it looks like Mr. Winnie is just trying to make a new game, and then when that game gets a success, it just it's just gonna drop fully the facility. I just feel like that, and it really is sad to see that.
Just to let you guys know, today Eagle Eye officially announced that she's quitting uh, quitting YouTube. Not fully so she's quitting YouTube. You know, you see, we just we just gonna start losing YouTubers, people that, or they just gonna start doing huge breaks. I hope like not everyone quits. I don't want to be alone again. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. But don't worry, guys. I'm not quitting for now, and I will be still posting fleet the facility videos. Uh, shout out to Eagle Eye, our video will be in the description, make sure to comment something nice on our video. And yeah, this is pretty much it, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.